What's up, people, man? It's another day, dude. It's another day, another chance to, uh, you know, make shit and do something. And it's kind of, you know, why do I say that to you? Because my videos kind of just sit here. People find them when they find them. Uh, but I have to talk to you like a human because I'm a human and you're a human. And so I will announce, hey, this is the start, even though this video, who knows what time this video comes out. Maybe this comes out 24 hours later. But for me right now, sitting here talking to you, it's the start of another set of watching some videos and um, hopefully getting inspired, man, and having like a good fucking time. So uh, what's coming up today is uh, probably two or two K-pop songs, maybe three. And then uh, hopefully a shred video, a guitar shred video, and maybe some beatbox, maybe some two set violin, thinking about some of that. So maybe that tickles you and you want to do that. Also, I was just um, talking to myself, getting myself like pumped up and ready to sit down and, and um, make some videos. And then because like I felt empowered just like having this inner dialogue, I was like, oh, what should I say? You know, what, okay, what's like the one thing I'm saying to myself that would pump you up? But I think, I don't think it's anything in particular because I think it's, it's, the context is me talking to me, so I'm talking to me about things that I care about. So I, I think maybe the takeaway is talk to yourself. Maybe people think that's crazy. I don't give a fuck. Um, talk to yourself and uplift yourself and like get yourself motivated or, or if you're having a bad day, get yourself like out of that funk because you know how you feel better than anyone else knows. And so put two voices on. There's the you that's feeling the emotion that's like taking control of you. And then you can be the other side getting you out of that or ratcheting it up, you know? So maybe that's, that's the intro takeaway is fucking talk to yourself. Um, I said this on some other video, but it's reminding me now is that if you will take the time like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a couple of minutes maybe, to say something to yourself to motivate you and get you fucking amped up and say something nice to yourself. For a lot of us, that might be the only shit like that we hear all day. So don't wait for someone else to say it. Say it to yourself. Anyways, I'm hyped up, BTS Dynamite Slow Jam. I feel like, I love how di uh, BTS does this where like they, they drop a, a song and they drop so many versions of it. I found myself reacting to fucking five versions of the same same song. Thank God uh, uh, it's all good. The last two that this happened with was, with was On and uh, Black Swan. Thankfully, all of the videos were all like really good. But this is a lyric one, which is funny. This is probably my first lyric video ever on the channel. That's all in English. I need to see something move, so at least I can see the um, fucking lyrics move. Anyways, let's go. Hey, it's me again. I'm back. Four, four minute and 30 second intro. Can't wait for those comments. Dude, all you do is talk. It's like, you caught on. That's right. That's all I do. Talk, talk, talk. Anyways, let's let BTS uh, do what they do. Slow jam. Is it really going to be a slow jam? Ugh, I love like old R&B shit. I hope it's like a throwback to that. Oh, the, the number one BTS song that I think is a slow jam track. Singularity. Young solo, I think is. That's the one. Oh my God. I, the, did I play that song so much? <laughs> okay, this is also a reharmonization. What is a reharmonization? Reharmonization is when you, you keep the melody the same uh, between different versions of a song or variations of a song, but you change the harmony of the underlying track. And what I can already hear is not only the chords different, but there's more chords. So let's say there were four chords before, maybe there's eight now in the same span of time. If you want to get into theor theoretical shit, you can really think of those as substitutions. So if you want to go look up chord substitutions or something like that, or, or reharmonization, that's what's going on here. And that's only in six seconds, we know that. Okay, 
And I think the tempo is maybe 5% slower. Ish. Right around there. Oh, by the way, LeBron and Lakers beat the Nuggets on Anthony Davis, AD's uh, three pointer at the fucking buzzer today. What's up, Lakers, dude? Oh, and the bass comes in. Oh, so this was the, the pre-chorus, I think, right? But here, the chorus has changed up to double stabs on the downbeat. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so they're, they're taking the same spacing of the chords from before, but now it's, it's so it's, it's that's called, if you want to know what that's called, harmonic rhythm. You keep your eyes on the ball. Hey, hey, heavy. Every time I hear the the cha ching like money or reference to money in the song, I always think Bruno Mars 24 karat every time. Which, by the way, is one of my favorite songs in the last I don't know four years. 24 karat. We have a counter melody now. We have a counter melody up top on the uh, synthesizer. <laughs> What's crazy is how, like, I would, if I did not know there was another version of this song, I would. I would love this one just as much. This reminds me all like Singularity, uh, what else? Uh, Pluto, it's got a spill of the Pluto song, 134340. Um, there's another one. Maybe it's the other Young solo. Hmm. Hmm. Stigma, right? <laughs> Oh, and now they took the vocal melody and put it in the synthesizer and put a low pass filter on it. Oh, that was a modulation. That was subtle. They like really creeped it in. Creeped it in. That's called grammar, y'all. I got buckets of grammar. Grammar for days. Oh, and now the bass synth is doing what the chords were doing before. Before the chords are going cha cha, cha cha, but now the bass is going boom doom, doom doom, do do. Now that's important. It's not just something I noticed. It's important. That's called. Are you ready for it? Rhythmic 
thematic repetition. It's a rhythm that was a theme of a previous section and now it is being used in another voice. Before it was the keyboard, now it's the bass, and this is how we elaborate a structure, we make a structure bigger, uh, but we keep a sense of continuity through the structure. The listener may not know, but we know the reason why it all flows. We're stealing things from previous sections and reusing them. In fact, in fact, the bass is, the keyboard is doing what it originally did the first time, but the bass is doing what the keyboard did the second time. So now the chords are ringing, chun, two, three, four, chun, two, but the bass is going, do, do, three, four, bottom, two, three, four, do, 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 So now we're, they're, re, they're overlapping previous sections of music. But it's not the same sounds, it's the same uh, rhythm of those sections. Well, actually, the keyboard sound might be the same exact sound. I can't remember. And the counter melody. So we have, we have the original keyboard from the first section, we have the bass now doing what the keyboard did in the second section, and then we have the keyboard counter melody that I think came in halfway through the piece. What? Okay, what's left to say? Nothing. I said everything I wanted to say. Oh, maybe if you're here at the end, I don't know if I'm going to have to pitch adjust this song because of them damn copyright demons. So I think, you know, some of my falsetto was kind of almost, in, you know, it's almost in tune. If it's not in tune at all, well, you probably don't care. But uh, clean, unchopped videos are on Patreon. Not because, like, I'm a dick. I ain't getting rich off of Patreon, but uh, you know how it goes, right? They've been taking 100%. I made like 1,200 videos and got like nothing. I don't need a lot of money, man, but nothing, nothing really. So that's what's up in case you ever wonder, but people who wonder probably didn't even make it this far. I, I, I think I got out all of my spiritual shit in the very beginning, and we talked musically about what was going on in the song all the way through, so I think I'm just gonna dip out and go to another video. That's what's up. That is what's up. So I'm out. Onion Gigi Shipshio!